patriotic record on Billboard's Hot 100, December 31st, 1966. Everett McKinley Dirksen, Senator Everett McKinley Dirksen with Gallant Man coming in at number 43, up from 65 the previous week. It wasn't the only patriotic song that came out in 1966. There was another one, The Ballad of the Green Beret in the spring of 66 that went to number one. There were also these uh, response records to some of the anti-war songs like Take a Eve of Destruction by Barry McGuire back in the summer of 1966. There was a response song to that uh, called Dawn of Correction by the Spokesman, which came out in 19, late 65, sometime in 1966. Everett McKinley Dirksen, a senator, a Republican senator, he was 71 years old when he came out with this record, the oldest person to make it on make top 40 on Billboard's Hot 100. Well, until 1969, that record was broken by Moms Mabley. I hope I pronounced her last name. I have it madly. Uh, she was a she was an African American comedian, and uh, she was 75 years old when she came out with Abraham Martin and John, her tribute record that went to number 35 in the summer of 1969. But 71, that's old enough to make it on Billboard's Hot 100. I mean, this was back when you were old when you were 30 years old. Just get off the charts. You don't belong here. <laughs> but Eric, but this record by Senator Everett uh, Dirksen went to number 30, 33. Eventually made it to num number 33. Senator Everett uh, McKinley Dirksen, supporter of the Vietnam War, he backed the Johnson administration on the war. He also was instrumental in passing the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Johnson, uh, well, this, the the the, the Southern Democratic senators filibustered the bill. They were dead set, dead set against this bill. Therefore, President Johnson, he reached across, and he was good at this. I mean, this guy was once a majority leader of the Senate on the, uh, on the Democratic side. And this guy was a master. Whatever his weaknesses was, he had a lot of flaws and weaknesses, but he was definitely a master when it came to passing legislation and when working with the Senate. He reached across the lines. He reached to the Republicans, to people like Everett McKinley Dirksen, more moderate Republicans to help him pass, to break the filibuster to the Civil Rights Act, which eventually passed. Well, here he is, uh, Senator Everett McKinley Dirksen, with Gallant Man, 1966, number 43 on Billboard's Hot 100.